Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Destiny and I play a lot of Disney Dream Life Valley. Today I'm going to be going over how to mod your Scrooge shop so that way you can try to get more refreshes throughout the day to try to get your hand on some new items. So without a further ado, let's get started. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to check the inside of my Scrooge shop just to kind of see what's going on. And it's looking a little boring, so we're going to change that. First, we're going to go to Google and we're going to search Scrooge Shop Refresh Mod. This is how I found this mod and this is how you will find it too. So the very first link will be Nexus Mods. And your first time going into this website, you will have to create an account in order to do downloads. If you have an account, you just want to go ahead and log right in. Now that we're logged in, we're going to go ahead and check the requirements of this mod. So there are two systems you can run this mod on. You're going to want to use Melon Loader if you are on Windows and Bepinex if you are on Mac. So because I'm on Windows, I'm going to use Melon Loader. First thing I'm going to do is check to make sure that I have the framework required in order to do the automated install. And so you should have the link right there so you can go ahead and start that download. Most computers will already have something better than this, so you probably will not need this step and you can go ahead and skip right into the installer. When you go ahead and install this, it is going to tell you to select the game. You want to make sure that you select the application to the game and not a shortcut that you may have in your computer. So in order to find this, because I'm on Steam, I'm going to go ahead to Steam, Steam Apps, and then I'm going to go into Common, Disney Dream at Valley, and click on the application. So the mod is currently on the 6.1 version of Melon Loader and they did have an update to 6.2. So you just want to make sure you unclick latest and download 6.1 version or whatever version the mod is currently on. Now we're going to open up Disney Dream Night Valley again just to see if Melon Loader is working and it's not working. So this pop up is telling me that I need net 6.0 in order to use Melon Loader. So we're going to go ahead and our next step is to download that so that way Melon Loader will open up because we want to make sure that the game works before we get this mod. Don't worry if you won't have to search anything. I will have all the links down in my bio so you can go ahead and get this right away. So first thing is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the installer. So we're going to get the times 64. So you want to make sure it's times 64, not the arm 64. With this install, it's going to be pretty straightforward. So you just want to make sure that you go ahead and get the download. If it doesn't download automatically, there is a manual button to get it started. And you just want to click on the installer file to download it and click install. And it'll automatically already do everything for you. This install was fairly quick. So with that uh, once you go ahead and close that, the only thing we're going to do again is we're going to open up Disney Dream Night Valley yet again just to make sure that Melon Loader actually installs. So when you do this, you should see the pop-up message and it looks like it is going fairly well and you're going to notice this black screen that opens up. Now, because we have Melon Loader, Melon Loader is going to open up every time that you play Disney Dream Night Valley. The first time you open this up, it is going to be a much longer download only because it is installing everything. So don't worry, everything is going as planned as of right now. Currently, we do not have the Scrooge Shop mod installed. The only thing we have installed is Melon Loader. And usually at this point, you do not need to do anything else other than install the Scrooge Shop mod. However, when I went to check the log, there was a whole bunch of text and this is not something that you want to see. This means that there is a module that is missing and you will have to go ahead and manually download Melon Loader in order to fix this bug. I did have to expand out the code in order to find the error and usually errors are highlighted in red font so you'll be able to find it. So it said no support module loaded and I went ahead and I copied that error message and went straight to Google. So you do not have to do this part on your own and I found out that I would have had to do a manual install 
of melon loader in order to fix this bug, which is fairly simple to do. Once we have the file downloaded, we're going to go ahead and open that up. And you want to make sure you go back to downloads in order to extract all of the files. You want everything to download directly into where your Dreamlight Valley is. So that way all of Melon Loader is downloaded. And this is going to download a clean install of Melon Loader. You want to make sure that you replace all of the files in the destination so that way everything is nice and clean. If you do not have to do this step, you can completely avoid this step and just go straight for downloading the Screwed Shop Refresh Mod. Now that the app is ready for the file, we want to go to the Screwed Shop and grab the Melon Loader file. You want to make sure that you collect the right one. If you accidentally download the Bepinex one, it will not read the file and you won't have the mod refreshing. The mod is automatically set to 12 hours and I will show you how to change it to hourly or anywhere between one and 24 hours. You get to decide. With the file, we want to make sure that we are extracting all before we are cutting the DLL file within. So cut the DDL file and we're gonna insert it into a newly created mod folder within Dreamlight Valley. So we're gonna go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Dreamlight Valley, and Mods. That will be the folder that you will insert all of your files into. Now to check the log, we are going to open up Dreamlight Valley again and it is going to start installing a couple more things in order for us to change the user data later to the hours that we want the mod to refresh to. So this is sped up footage so that way you can kind of see what are some of the things that you will see going by in order for this mod to work. So when the mod is downloaded, we're going to go ahead and check the log and under the log, you should see one mod loaded. Now that the mod is loaded up, I wanted to show you what the screwed shop is going to look like when you enter it. So it has changed and this is set at 12 hours initially. So we're going to go ahead and change it by going into the user data melon preferences and you can open this using notepad or if you're someone who is like me and likes the things color coded you can also open it in notepad plus plus i will show you it in both so in notepad the only thing you want to change is the refresh frequency hours from 12 to 1 or like any number between 1 and 24 and save that and close it and then when you reopen your game it will go ahead and change according to the hours that you chose. Now, I just want to show you what the game looks like downloading in real time. So this is footage that isn't sped up. You will always see the melon loader pop up and it is completely normal. It's just going to run in the background of your game. So that way your shop refreshes. Some things to note about the mod is that it will refresh every hour. And if you have not entered a building or loading screen within the hour when it changed, you will notice that when you go into your screwed shop from outdoors within the hour, the shelves will be completely empty. This is perfectly normal. All you want to do is you want to exit out your screwed shop and when you go back in, the shelves will be completely restocked.
I do want to note that because this was after 12 when I filmed, the shop items that were shown previously were the 12 p.m. refresh, but because we changed to an hourly, there is going to be new items on the shelves. So if while you're doing this, you want to buy something, just go ahead and cloud save. But you can see um, that the items have changed. And I also wanted to show you that the date is the same. I don't know why. I just felt like I was compelled to show you guys that it's recorded all in the same day. The one thing to note about this mod is it does not change the RNG of Scrooge's shop, but because you are refreshing more times throughout the day, hopefully you can get your hands on some new items. If after trying everything in this video, you still cannot get it to download, I do host one-on-one -on -one meetings in order to get the mod downloaded onto your PC correctly, as well as in the Discord, we have a bunch of users with the Scrooge shop mod, all helping each other get the items that we are looking for to make our valleys beautiful. If you liked this video, please be sure to like and subscribe for more Dreamlight Valley content as well as any future updates to mods.